Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac's MariaDB DB tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure MariaDB Garela cluster in Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So here is the step-by-step -step guide to configure the MariaDB Garela cluster on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS server detail. So I am using the three servers for now and all the servers IP is 192.168.224.129. So like that. All servers are there 130, 131. I'm going to access all the server. One twenty nine. So I'm renaming this one. Server one, one twenty nine. One thirty one thirty. One thirty one. So all the three servers are con connected here. Changing the tab color. So these are the three servers. All three servers are added now. Next, I'm going to run the firewall configuration. So first check with the firewall status. So inactive, all the servers we have inactive. Now, I'm going to allow 3306 for the my MariaDB database and 4567, uh, 4568 4, and triple 4x4. This all are I am going to allow. For my MariaDB and. And Garela. So edit. Now I am going to enable the firewall. Yes. Yes. So this part is done now update and install the required packages so i'm just going for the all three servers similarly i'm going to do Okay. so three servers i have and right side we have a code so all the operation is done i am going through the all the three servers in same time so sudo apt install mariadb i am going to install the mariadb server mariadb client and rsync for all the servers So done all the things. Now I am going to start and enable the MariaDB. So all three servers. 
now i'm trying to access mysql minus u root minus v so able to access similar command i'm going to run with the remaining two able to access okay so all are accessible now so configure the mariadb all nodes so in the primary node i'm just going to configure So this is my primary server 129 i'm accessing this one as a primary so first thing add just as before the bind address okay add the last of the line so there is a gorilla and wsrp underscore on is on and i'm giving the path for the gorilla and uh, there is a address for the 129 130 and 131 these three servers address i am giving if you are four servers then you have to give the four if you have two servers then you have to give the two ip addresses and here the binary format is row and uh, engine i am using the inodb and bind address here i am changing to the 0, .0, .0. And any cluster name, so MariaDB cluster and IP. I'm for the this one. I'm giving the IP is 129. This is the 129 IP. So just copy this one up to this. Go to the last. And I am going to add this one. Okay. Similarly, I'll just run this command. same command to my secondary node one secondary node one is this one so just has before the bind address go to the last and there is a similar thing i have to add only one changes is there here i am changing the ip into 130 previous ip was 129 and remaining things are same now move to the secondary node 2 bind address go to the last and add this one here this one is the uh, the node address is 131 this node address will be the same address of the particular server so done same and exit all the files start the cluster so i am going to in the first node only so in node 1 i am going to write node 1 or i am writing like this primary node so going to stop the MariaDB stop now I'm starting the Gorilla new cluster done now I'm going to start MariaDB so then and on the other nodes node 1 and node 2 stop the MariaDB and start the MariaDB started <laughs> in both the server started properly here also started now verify the cluster mysql minus u root minus v so now i'm going to access this one and run this command so it's showing the three nodes all the three nodes are running
and the run, uh, node are running in the synchronized mode and final is status so the primary node okay so all are working as a primary node so this will give the should match the number of the nodes okay and cluster status should be the primary and local state command should be synchronized all we are getting the same create a test database on any node so in the first node only i'm going to create this one creating now login with the second node mysql minus u root minus p so databases so i am able to get the Gerilla cluster here also in the second data uh, second node in third node mysql minus u root minus p and here also so databases okay able to access same thing here also i'm going to use Gorilla cluster database test database and going to add one table then now check with the other node you in the first node i'm going to check first so tables so i'm i'm getting the table select test select xt from test table okay so we don't have any data i'm going to insert one data in the first node okay in second node what i'll do i'll just run the same same command select asterisk from test test underscore table okay. so in second node i am getting the data in first node we are inserted the data in third node also i am running the same command here also i am getting the data so verify the data in the use gorilla cluster select i am getting the same data it's okay in node 2 node 3 repeat the same step on node 2 node 3 so we are getting the same there in this video we have learned how to configure the gorilla cluster in mariadb in ubuntu 24.04 lts so your mariadb gorilla cluster is now successfully set up on ubuntu 24.04 lts let me know if you need any or any issue for any doubts and query please write on the youtube video comment section follow the process on in the video please subscribe and like for the more videos don't forget to follow like share and comment Hope this will help. Thank you for watching.